Well, hello and welcome to Vlogmas day 30. There's only one more day of this. This is weird, super weird. And I'm being all super festive. I just got this at Target. Um, I really don't prefer the top because, you know, I don't like pajama tops. I just like to wear like a tank top, like what I'm wearing right now. Um, but I wanted it because they came with matching pants. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah, matching pants. I'm so excited. I love these pants. Um, they're from Target. I just bought it. Um, but they are like, this is the brand. There's like no name, no nothing. They were on clearance. I don't know if you can still get it at your Target, just FYI. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys a uh, Target haul because why not? It's a vlog, might as well show. Okay, so I was talking to my mom on the way home because I just booked my Florida flight for a week and a half from now, week and a half? Yeah, I'm leaving on the 11th. She was telling me about how she couldn't find these at her Target. They're the half the size fish oil, but um, she couldn't find them. So I was like, well, let me go look at mine and see if I have them. I did because Target is actually originally from Minnesota. So there's a ton of them. Um, so anyway, I actually needed, it jogged my memory that I needed to get fish oil for my dog. So I got him the regular fish oil, which is like half the price by the way. <laughs> so why the heck not? Um, also got this because it was like 30% off on Cartwheel. And I, this is like one of my crazy guilty pleasures. Like I love turkey jerky. It is like my favorite thing. Also the dog really loves it too. So when I bust it open, I always have to be like really quiet unless I want to give some to him. <laughs> I also got this in the men's department. I thought this was kind of cool. I'm, I'm going to be like really bad at showing you guys. So I apologize. <sighs> I need an assistant. It just says enjoy Coke. It's hard to see. Enjoy Coke. Whatever. You... I'll link it if I can find it. I don't know. So that's all the stuff I got from Target. And again tonight, I ate really late. Like I said before, I'm gonna like sit down because you know, you gotta like sit and chitty chat. Let's go back to my, this is my like original spot where I like did all my vlogs at the very beginning. Just sitting down in the chair. Oh, it's like super trashy. Look at that. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so today I ate super late as well. I had a ton of errands to run. Um, what did I do today at work? I felt like I didn't do anything, but I did a lot of stuff. Like I got payroll done, I got taxes done, and like um, had to mail out some bills and stuff like that. The dog is going crazy. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. It's like we haven't seen each other all day. We just went on a walk. Sometimes he gets really excited after he poops. This is the after poop effect. You gonna talk to your friends about your poop? That's a no. He doesn't wanna talk about it now. He just wanted to jump over here and say, hi, you're not busy, pet me. Pet me, pet me, pet me, pet me now. So anyway, I just felt like I was really busy at work today. And like I said, I feel like I didn't get anything done, but I did get some stuff done, which is good. Um, also had to run to the bank, which is kind of a distance away from my office. And I had to go to Target. I actually went to Target after work to get this, as well as all my mom's, uh, you know, that fish oil and all that stuff too. I'm like, oh, I should have just picked it up while I was there, but didn't think about it. And it actually was a good thing because I talked to my mom like on my way home actually so anywho but yeah I had to go to Target and then I went to uh, the office supply store too because we were running low on some office supplies so that took up the bulk of my day it took me about two and a half hours to get all that done it was just like really crazy at Target when I went there for work but I think everyone was like really excited about like all the holiday clearance stuff because oh my gosh I actually had to go over there because that's kind of like where the paper towels were and there was a sea of red carts and people just perusing the aisles. I'm like, I'm just going to stay out of that section, thanks. This is what the dog does all day. Well, not all day, but when I get home. He's like, hey, pet me, lady. Pet me. And the only reason that he's here right now is because the heat vent is not on. As soon as the heat vent clicks on, he's going to be out of here. Right, Doyle? That's a yes. That's a yes. So I think tonight I am actually going to work on a to-do list for the weekend. Like I said, bef I don't know if I said this before, but on Monday, I'm actually off at work. So I don't have any work to take home with me, nothing. My boss didn't want me to work, so I am not working on Monday. So I'm going to go in on Tuesday, but I think this weekend I want to try to get a bunch of videos done, especially since I'm going back to Florida again. 
I'll be in Florida for four days and three nights. So it's a pretty quick trip Wednesday to Saturday. And I just want to get some filming done. And really most of the videos in January I can pre-film for the most part. So I'm going to try to get a lot of that stuff done as much as possible this weekend. And I'm not really going to worry too much about the editing part of it because I can always do that like after the fact. But as long as I have the footage in my computer, it just makes my life a lot easier. So I think I'm going to try to do that, but I'm going to like do it obviously in like a strategic order of like how I'm filming because obviously the most important ones need to be done first and you know whatever. So I think that's what's on the docket for the weekend as well as I just want to like write it down because you know if you guys know my channel and have been watching my channel you know that I am a planner person and I like to write it all down. Writing it down on my phone is not going to make me do anything. So I think I just need to make a little list of all the things I have to film so and I know I've been hinting at this for a while but there is a giveaway coming up very soon on my channel there will be a dedicated video to the giveaway and that will be coming up very very soon it's one of the things that is like on my mandatory to do filming list for this weekend so I'm hoping to get it up before I leave on vacation and also get the prizes sent out before I leave on vacation too so if all goes well, it will be up next week. I am not gonna tell you what I purchased for the giveaway, but let me just say it's amazing and the couple people that I have told what is in the giveaway prize has been kind of floored at what all I'm giving away. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, you might as well subscribe because it's going to be one of the things you got to do anyway. So like just take care of it now. And um, I'm actually going to host the giveaway on Facebook. My link is always down below for Facebook if you guys are interested. Um, but that's going to be another part of the giveaway. I usually do them on Instagram, but there was a lot of people the last couple of times I've done giveaways on Instagram telling me that they don't have a Facebook and um, you know my 86 year old grandmother has Facebook so I figure kind of most people have Facebook um, it's really difficult to do giveaways on YouTube and I just don't know if I ever will but yeah so the giveaway will be held on Facebook so if you haven't like liked my page on Facebook or whatever go check it out the link is always below in every single video if you want to be eligible to win those prizes. So um, there will be some other instructions and stuff too. You'll have to like make a comment or something um, because I don't want to like enter every single person that subscribes to me on YouTube and Facebook because some people might not want the prizes. I mean, I, don't, I have no idea. So um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to share that stuff and hopefully, fingers crossed, if all goes well, that will be up next week for you guys. So I'm really, really excited about the giveaway way prizes. Can I help you with something? This dog. You standing on me. Really? Really? I don't know what the dog's doing. He's so weird. He's such a strange little doggy. Hi, Bubby. Okay. You're gonna lay down? Can you, oh wow, look at you, look at this dog. Oh, did you need, did you need help with something? Can you paw? Good boy. You want me to pet you or something? Is that what's going on? Okay, I'll put my hand here and see what happens. Oh, oh, yeah, high five? Nope, too busy doing other stuff. High five? Thank you. You're very helpful today. All right, well, I think I'm gonna sign off for right now. I'm gonna get started on, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner, you guys. Like, I'm just like not, mm, not feeling it. Like, I could literally just like have some microwave popcorn and just be done with it. I'm just not hungry for like, you know, hearty foods. So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner, so it's not gonna be interesting anyway, so I'm probably not gonna show you. I am gonna get started on my list, and I will show you what ends up on my list in a little bit. Um, this dog is like, he just wants the attention. He wants the scratches. I'm a professional Shiba scratcher, you guys. So if you guys need a Shiba scratcher, my hand, my other hand, well, it's not available right now because I'm holding a camera, but sometimes it's available. Oh, doity. Oh, the doity doyle. He's such a silly boy. He's such a silly boy. All right, well, I think I'm gonna take the tags off of my 
new shirt and new pantalones. All right, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. What's the puppy say? <coughs> 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 he doesn't bark. You have to ask him what the puppy says and then he'll say it. So it's been a couple of hours um, and I have been sitting at my computer, got my laptop right here, and I've been doing some YouTube work and getting some videos kind of figured out and went through my new 2017 planner, which by the way is an Erin Condren hourly in the neutral. All the little colorful things you see are just like little flags that are also from Erin Condren that are right here. So it's kind of getting all my stuff figured out. Um, here's my list of things that I need to film. Um, one of you lovely subscribers sent me this washi, so thank you very much. And then I put a little sticker that says to film. This is from Coffee Break Planner. I'll leave her information below. Um, but anyway, so these are all the things I need to film this weekend. Sorry my lighting's like all janky. I kind of like put you guys up against a wall and I got my ring light on, but it's like not working. It's like really lighting up the background and not whatever. It's a vlog. So anyway, I've got a whole bunch of videos that I need to possibly film this weekend. Hold on. Let me put this a little bit closer. Still not actually doing anything. Ugh, this is frustrating. You know, lighting is, I'm sorry. Lighting is one of those things that here we go. That's actually so much better. Ta-da! Okay. I feel like that looks a little bit better and a little more consistent, even though the, the back is, like, really light now. But that's fine. Um, I feel like lighting is one of those things that just drives me crazy in my own videos. If I'm watching a video and they've got, like, janky lighting, it doesn't really bother me. In my own personal videos, it really bugs me because it's like, oh, I should have paid attention or, ugh, you know life. So anyway, but I have a whole bunch of videos to do this weekend. I definitely need to do my plan with me, my 5k giveaway, which by the way, totally on topic for once in my life. I was getting a bunch of email notifications saying that people were commenting. I had just posted a vlog. Um, I think the vlog posted at 5 p.m. Central Standard. I, I do it anywhere from like 4 p.m. to like 7 p.m. I don't know. I just, like, whatever floats my boat that day. So I was getting notifications that people were commenting and I'm like, oh, I better go check out the vlog, whatever, and like respond back to some comments. And I noticed that there were over 6,000 of you now that are subscribed. I haven't even gotten to film my 5K giveaway price thing yet. So now it's gonna be like a 6K giveaway. That's insane. That is just like pure insanity. Like I cannot imagine that there's like 6,000 people watching. It's kind of crazy, but um, it's a good crazy. It's like the best crazy, you know? I'm still gonna call my giveaway the 5K giveaway, but I guess it's really gonna be the 6K giveaway by the time it goes up. And I have plans, like I said earlier, um, plans to actually post that next, this upcoming week. So the full, you know, the first full week of the new year. So I wanna make sure that I have that and it's ready to go because I wanna get the prizes sent off to the winner before I leave for vacation again, which will be the week after that. So anyway, I just need like enough time to do all of that and I wanna have the giveaway open for a few days at least because I just wanna make it, you know, fair, especially if, you know, not everybody can watch on the day you post a video and I totally get that. So anyway, I got my plan with me, my 5K giveaway. I am gonna be doing a sinking funds video. Um, I know if you watch these videos, you probably watch my finance videos. I have said several times in many of my current budget videos that I am no longer doing sinking funds, but people still wanna see a sinking funds video. So I was kind of commenting back with a bunch of you saying if I did one, it would just be a mock one. It wouldn't be what I would be using, uh, you know, so and I really do only really focusing on content that I would actually use. And I got an overwhelming response that yes, we want to see one anyways. So I think most people are just more interested in how to physically like set one up and to like see everything, you know, so I will be doing one of those and that'll be hopefully coming up this 
you know, soonish. Um, so I want to do that for you guys since, you know, it seems like a lot of you want to see. And then also I think uh, sinking funds are kind of cool to see as well because then you can kind of think about unexpected things that might happen in your life throughout the year. You know, like I could say, like my dog for instance that's sitting on a heat vent right now, he was behind me, but now, now the little furnace came on so it's like blowing out of the bottom of the floor right now. So he's in just hog heaven over there. But you know, thinking about his uh, like medical costs. So he actually takes medication every day, twice a day. Um, he has seizures and he's totally fine. Don't worry, he's totally fine. Um, but costing for that, I actually just bought um, medication again the other yesterday, I think it was, um, which I had budgeted out. So um, his medication, uh, vet visits, you know, like his annual checkup, also food, things like that. Um, obviously the food can go like in the regular budget too, but it's obviously going to be there. Um, if we wanted to get really specific, we could put groceries in a sinking fund budget as well, because that is something that's always gonna happen. I treat it more like those upcoming costs that are gonna happen. So like wear and tear on your vehicle, oil changes, new tires, um, you know, things like that. Um, also you could put in like if you have an older vehicle and you want to replace that vehicle, you know, in the next couple of years, you know, doing a savings plan for that, you know, 50 to to $100 a month or, you know, something like that to have like a car replacement sinking funds because you might get to that point if your vehicle's a little bit older or something like that where you do want to end up replacing it, you know, that's something that you can do with that as well. So I think it's kind of nice to look at people's sinking funds and go, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. I should put that in my sinking funds too because that's something that I'm going to be paying for. Um, also doing like travel and things like that as well. Um, I go to Florida every December because that's where my parents live. That would be part of my sinking funds as well. Um, and then I would kind of just base that off of, you know, how much travel was last year. So, you know like this year that I'm physically in still, which is 2016, you know, my plane ticket was, I think, around the like $400, 450 range, something like that. So I would probably just guesstimate that it's gonna be similar-ish in 2007. So, um, you know, it might be plus or minus, a little bit but at least it'll be pretty close but I'm gonna film that for you guys and then also I am gonna be filming my I'm like looking down at my little cheat sheet huh I feel like I'm doing like a real video because I have both my hands to like I've got talky hands talky hands so anyway um 2017 goals are gonna be happening as well I think for the rest of the night what I'm gonna do is on the next page over here is write out my 2017 goals. I was actually thinking on the plane, and I was actually talking about, to my mom about this um, t today, actually. And um, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, I wanna do some goals. And I was thinking on the plane ride back to Minnesota, you know, what do I wanna do for my goals and things like that? Cause I was like rewatching my old video that posted today. I did like a recap of 2016 and my old goals video. And then like went through every category of things I said I was going to do. Did I achieve them? Did I not achieve them? Did I supersede them? Like, you know, like what, what happened with that goal and where I was? and then what happened with it and then you know kind of not necessarily my resolution to, to it but you know just like what happened like more of like a follow-up thing so I was thinking on the plane about my 2017 goals and YouTube being you know YouTube social media being a big part of my life um, at the end of 2016 if you had said that I would have 5,000 subscribers I'd be like yeah, whatever um, but like it's so crazy in two weeks there's been a thousand more of you people that have hit the subscribe button that like want to see more content from me. That's kind of nuts, kind of nuts. And I'm sure there's people that get like 10,000 subscribers like a day, like I totally understand that. Coming from my own perspective, it's like, whoa, this is crazy, but like the good crazy. Don't worry, it's the good crazy. But yeah, so I was like trying to think of like a good number to be like, oh, what, sh what should my goal be for this year? Because my goal last year, I was just to backtrack if you guys haven't watched my video that posted today, which is my Friday video. You guys won't see this until Saturday, but anyway. So when I originally filmed my goals video for 2016, I was at nine, I think it was 975, like 975 subscribers. I was just under a thousand. And my goal was to just double it because I was like, oh, that'd be so great if I got 2,000 subscribers. It took me a long time to get to 2,000, I must say. But once the ball got rolling, it was pretty insane. So 
I just hit five the day before I left for Florida, which you guys have seen on the vlog. That was two weeks ago. And now there's been a thousand more. So I'm trying to figure out like what a good like numerical goal is. If you guys have a good numerical goal, put it in the comments. So I don't know. I was gonna say in my goals video like 10,000 because like that would double from like five to 10. But now I've already hit six, so it's like, that seems like not too easy. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I'm sounding cocky. Like, I, I feel icky about talking about numbers, but it's just kind of cool. Like, I'm a numbers person, obviously. Like, you guys know that because you watch my budget videos. I don't know. I think it would just be kind of cool because I feel like whatever numerical denominator I put in there, it'll probably end up superseding any of my expectations at all, which by the way, I have zero expectations for this YouTube thing. Like this is such a fun thing for me to do. It's fun for me to share. It's fun for me to talk to you guys. I love getting to know you guys in the comments as well as talking more and more like on Instagram and on my Facebook page and like all that stuff. Like I just love social media and I think it's fun. Oh great. And my battery is flashing at me, which is fine actually, because I really do need to go. So if you guys have numerical denominators that you think would be good or an actual like number of subscribers I should put for my goal for the end of 2017 slash 2018 I would love to know in the comments so let me know if you guys have any suggestions on that because I probably won't be filming that video until Sunday or Monday I don't think I'm gonna film that one tomorrow because you guys will see this like tomorrow night does that make sense it's so confusing I'm like a day off so that is amazing 6,000 right here 6,000 subscribers that's nuts just nuts so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go for now thank you so much for all the internet love and support i really appreciate it it's just been a whirlwind and just so exciting feel free to thumbs up this video and like it if you like the vlogs i've only got one more day sad tears and also feel free to hit the subscribe button i'm here every monday wednesday and friday with new content for you guys at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time with all my regular stuff. The vlogs are a little different, but you know, go ahead and click the go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to. Okay, so that is it for me. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!